Dear students, uh, welcome back to our discussion on multi-stage vapor compression refrigeration system. So, uh, today we are going to discuss a, another model of uh, multiple stages of vapor compression refrigeration system called cascade refrigeration system. In a cascade refrigeration system, there will be a series of vapor compression refrigeration systems. Okay, so you can see here. Uh, there will be one set of vapor compression refrigeration system uh, in which there will be one expansion valve, one evaporator, one uh, compressor and one condenser. There will be another set of, uh, uh, there is still another set of uh, uh, vapor compression refrigeration system that is uh, consisting of uh, one expansion valve, one evaporator, one compressor and one condenser. Okay, so uh, in this uh, separate sections of vapor compression refrigeration systems, there will be separate. Uh, there will it, it will be working on separate uh, refrigerants. Okay, the peculiarity of this refrigerants will be refrigerants will be that uh, the um, uh, refrigerant uh, working in uh, this higher temperature side, it will be having a higher boiling point. Okay, compared to a lower temp a lower temperature boiling point uh, refrigerant which is uh, working in the lower region. Okay, so what is the peculiarity here is uh, the lower region we will be calling it as a low temperature cascade. So let us see um, how this is working. So now let us focus on the vapor compression refrigeration system that is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. That is uh, in the first system there will be a evaporator the low temperature uh, that is a, a that is a refrigerant with a, a, a very low temperature uh, as the uh, evaporate uh, as the evaporating point uh, or as the boiling point okay say uh, for example uh, take the case of a carbon dioxide suppose we are using carbon dioxide as the refrigerant in this low temperature cascade uh, its boiling point can be minus 78.4 degrees celsius so in that case what 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 we can infer we can uh, set this evaporator at almost a lower temperature like uh, minus 76 degrees celsius so uh, if the, if you are maintaining this evaporator at minus 76 degrees celsius a uh, uh, a low temperature uh, boiling point uh, refrigerant like a carbon dioxide with uh, minus 78.4 degrees celsius it can very well take up heat from this evaporator and maintain this evaporator at uh, minus 76 degrees celsius so after taking out the uh, after receiving heat from this uh, evaporator for example if you are using carbon dioxide as the refrigerant this carbon dioxide will be will be moving on to this low temperature compressor where it will be getting compressed uh, isentropically then it will be coming to the condenser where it will be uh, rejecting the heat to some uh, cooling medium okay and again after rejecting that heat it will be admitted back to this evaporator and it will be continuing in its cycle okay so the peculiarity of this cascade refrigeration is cask the word meaning of this cascade is make common okay so here we are making the condenser of the first stage of refrigeration common with the evaporator of the or it we are making both the condenser of the first stage of refrigeration uh, as the evaporator as the as the evaporator of the next level of refrigeration so what is here ha what is happening here so this so such a condenser is called as a cascade condenser so he, here it is called uh, here it is shown here this cascade condenser is nothing but uh, for example if you are using carbon dioxide with uh, uh, boiling point minus 78 degrees celsius in the first stage of refrigeration so this carbon dioxide uh, refrigerant uh, after uh, coming out from this low temperature compressor it is going to uh, enter this cascade condenser where it will be rejecting the heat okay where does this uh, heat goes the, the, this rejected heat this rejected heat will be absorbed by a still uh, sorry uh, it will be absorbed by another refrigerant which is working in this high temperature cascade or the uh, next level of refrigeration okay so for example let us uh, take another refrigerant with uh, like ammonia okay it is uh, having a boiling point of minus 33 degree celsius uh, that is somewhat higher than the boiling point of carbon dioxide so suppose we are circulating this uh, ammonia uh, as the refrigerant in, in this high temperature cascade or the uh, upper uh, level of this uh, cascade refrigeration 
okay so suppose this evaporator uh, can be maintained at uh, minus 30 degree celsius that is suppose this uh, cascade condenser which is uh, in a way acting as the evaporator for the uh, high temperature cascade suppose this uh, condenser that is the evaporator in the next uh, uh, refrigeration it is maintained at minus 30 degree celsius what is happening here this carbon dioxide uh, which was the refrigerant in the lower section it will be rejecting the heat uh, at this cascade condenser but at the same time uh, ammonia which is the refrigerant uh, flowing or which, which is the uh, which is the working fluid flowing in the uh, higher level of uh, this cascade refrigeration it will be absorbing heat from the carbon dioxide refrigerant okay so what is happening here the refrigerant which is uh, uh, working in the low temperature cascade it will be rejecting the heat at this condenser and uh, which will be taken by the refrigerant working in the high temperature cascade so what is happening here at this cascade condenser the ammonia suppose uh, we are taking the case of ammonia in the uh, high temperature cascade ammonia will be absorbing heat from this uh, cascade condenser uh, which was uh, the heat rejected by the carbon dioxide which was flowing in the low temperature cascade after taking out the, taking the heat from the cascade condenser the ammonia refrigerant will be admitted to the high temperature compressor where it will be getting compressed isentropically then it will be moving on to the condenser where it will be rejecting the heat to some cooling medium and after that uh, this ammonia refrigerant will be admitted back to the expansion valve and follow and follows the same cycle so in a way we are uh, making uh, the condenser of one stage of refrigeration uh, common with the evaporator of the next level of refrigeration so that is called as cascading or making the condenser and evaporator as a common uh, platform okay so how will, how we can represent this idea in our pressure enthalpy diagram pressure enthalpy diagram let us uh, it is very simple that is uh, we can draw the uh, ph diagram of uh, first level of uh, vapor compression refrigeration system along with the ph diagram of the next level of uh, vcrs okay so now uh, first of all let us uh, draw the uh, vapor dome of the first vcrs we can complete the uh, ph diagram for 1 2 3 4 one that is the uh, cyclic representation of the first level of uh, vcrs where carbon dioxide was the working fluid or the refrigerant okay so uh, the carbon dioxide uh, 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 refrigerant which was rejecting the heat to the cascade condenser at 223 223 is the cascade condenser working carbon dioxide will be rejecting the heat so uh, who will be absorbing that rejected heat which was rejected by carbon dioxide is the ammonia refrigerant the ammonia refrigerant which is the working fluid in the next level of vcrs so now, now let us uh, draw the next vapor dome for the second level of vcrs where 4 dash 1 dash so here 4 1 2 3 is representing the low temperature cascade the high temperature cascade is represented as 4 dash 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash okay so 4 dash 1 dash will be the evaporator uh, working for the high temperature side so here the ammonia refrigerant which is working in the high temperature cascade it will be absorbing the heat from 2 to 3 actually that is the heat rejected by the carbon dioxide refrigerant which is working in the low temperature side so after taking up the heat from uh, the uh, carbon dioxide uh, in the ca cascade refrigeration uh, in the cascade condenser during 4 dash to 1 dash the ammonia refrigerant will be moving on to 1 dash 2 dash that is the high temperature compressor then followed by 2 dash 3 dash the high temperature condenser and also uh, 3 dash 4 dash that is the expansion while working in the uh, high temperature cascade or high temperature side okay so what is the main advantage of uh, using such uh, uh, more than one uh, stage of vapor compression refrigeration system or what is the advantage of using more than one type of refrigerant um, in uh, in the same uh, multi stage vcrs the main advantage is that we can create different different evaporators or we, we can create different different levels of refrigeration okay so the refrigeration effect produced during 4 1 that will be different from the refrigeration effect produced during 4 dash 1 dash so we can maintain different levels of uh, evaporators or different levels of freezer compartments in the same refrigeration uh, refrigeration unit so that is the main advantage of using cascade refrigeration 
okay so you can search uh, uh, internet for more and more applications of this cascade refrigeration so thank you